Hi everyone, I'm Rachel with Limbal's product team. Today, we're going to be talking about purchase orders or POs in Limbal. POs allow you to purchase parts, services, and other items from vendors in your Limbal account. This video will walk you through how to create a PO and a purchase request and receive items in our purchasing system. Depending on your permissions and plan with Limbal, some of your screens may be different than mine. If you have any questions, reach out to our support team. Let's get started. Before you create a PO, determine who will be allowed to submit purchase requests and who will be allowed to create purchase orders. Purchase requests require a mandatory approval process, whereas purchase orders may not require approvals depending on your desired workflow. By default, managers and technicians can submit purchase orders. This can be turned off by disabling permission 144, start a PO in the roles tab. You can learn about roles and permissions in our user management video. Let's create a purchase order. Navigate to the purchasing screen by selecting the locations icon from the navigation menu. Select your desired location and then click on purchasing. Then select add a purchase order. You'll be taken to a new window to create your PO. Since the PO is the official contract between you and your vendor, we need to select a vendor. Click Pick Vendor, choose your desired vendor, and then click Select. Your budget will automatically be your default budget. We cover budgets and purchasing workflows in another video. By default, Limbal assigns the PO to whoever is creating it. You can change this by clicking on the name and selecting another user. Your purchase order date will default to the day you're creating it. You can also add an expected delivery day. Then you can choose to add other details, such as custom fields. For example, you can create a field to display a special payment term with your vendor. Now we're ready to add items to our PO. Click Add Item. In the new window, select what kind of item you want. In this example, we're going to be reordering parts, so I'll select Parts. I can search my parts inventory to order more. I'm going to filter by understocked parts and parts associated with this vendor by clicking on Part Status. From the dropdown, I'll select Understocked Parts and Parts Associated with this vendor. This will show me parts that are currently under their minimum part quantity threshold that I've purchased before from my selected vendor. I also have the option to filter out parts associated with open POs. I'll select my desired parts and click Save. Now that my parts have been added to the PO, I can edit other details. Here, I can add a description, quantity, rate, tax, discounts, and shipping costs. If you configured minimum and maximum part quantities for your part, Limbal will consider those thresholds to populate an amount. For example, my minimum quantity threshold for this HVAC filter is six, and my maximum is 10. I currently have four filters on hand, so the system puts six in the field, since that will restock my inventory back to the maximum threshold. You can change this if you want. If you've entered the part price in Limbal, it will pull in that information here. In the last section, I can add notes to the vendor and include my billing and shipping address. If you hover next to any of these field names, a cog icon will appear. Clicking the icon will allow you to create default values for these fields that will appear in all future POs. Once I've done that, I'm ready to send this to the next step. I'll click Start Next Step, ready to receive. In the new window, Limbal will generate a PDF of your PO and give you the option to send an email to your vendor that includes the PDF. You can edit the message and even create a default email template for your POs by clicking on Default Template. When you're ready to send off the PO, click Send Message. If you don't want to notify your vendor within Limbal, exit the pop-up window. Once you've received some or all of your items, click Receive Items. In the new window, enter the quantities for the items you received. By default, Limbal will assume you've received all items. If you received part of an order, you can adjust the quantity by updating the number in the text box. In this example, I'll say I received four of the filters. Then click Submit. If you partially receive items from a PO, Limbal will generate a bill for the items received and the PO will move to a partially received status, as you can see with my PO here. This allows you to start the billing process even if you haven't received all items from a PO. Let's talk about billing. 
To manage bills in Limble, navigate to the Bills page under Purchasing. As mentioned earlier, if you receive multiple items at different times for the same PO, separate bills will generate. In this example, I received the next shipment of filters the following day, so you can see I have two separate bills for each part of the order I received. To mark a bill as paid, click on the bill number and select Mark as Paid. Click Yes in the new window to confirm your choice. Now the PO will be closed. Now that you know how POs work, let's touch on submitting purchase requests. Users who don't have permission to create purchase orders would submit a purchase request to someone who can. In this example, I'm a technician working on a task where I need to replace an HVAC filter, but we're all out. A purchase request can quickly be made from a task by clicking on the green action button, and from the new list of expanded options, click Request Purchase. Since we need a part, I would select Yes for Do you need to request parts, since the filter is out of stock. In the new window, I'd find the out of stock part and click select. Then add a description of the reason for the request. In this example, I'd say out of HVAC filters. Then click submit. Once we're done, you can see that the requested part and the purchase request have been added to the task. The next stage in the process is approving the purchase request. Similar to tasks, designated users can receive a notification when a purchase request is created. They can get to the purchase request by clicking the notification or going to the PO's page. Here, we can see the purchase request with the status of Setup Requested. Click on the number to open the request. You'll notice this looks identical to the purchase order screen. That's because once you approve the request, it turns into a PO. In the new window, the associated task is at the top of the screen. You can choose to reject the request by clicking Disapprove Purchase Request. For example, you may need to do this if you don't have room in your monthly budget. If you disapprove of the request, the user who made the original purchase request will be notified. Otherwise, you can move ahead with the order by selecting Next Step, Ready to Receive. Thanks so much for watching. If you have additional questions, visit our Help Center, reach out to our support team, or talk to your Limble CSM to learn more.